Working with RenderBrain is pretty straightforward. Before you start using RenderBrain, make sure you have completed the setup stage as seen in the setup lesson. Open RenderBrain from the window extension RenderBrain. To render, add some compositions to the render queue by highlighting a composition from the timeline and selecting the add to render queue command or drag them from the project panel directly to the render queue panel. Set up your desired output module and output location just like every time you rendered before. To start the render, press the RenderBrain main button. RenderBrain will take into account all active render queue items and render them out according to the options selected in the RenderBrain panel. The RenderBrain jobs panel will be open automatically if not opened already. In this panel, you can track and control the render progress on your machine and network machines. For example, you can stop a render, local or remote, with the stop button like this one over here. A completed render is marked in a green stripe. Pressing the folder button next to it will open the folder containing the render file. Failed and stopped renders will be marked in a red and orange colors. Pressing the log button next to them will open the log file to reveal the progress and shed some light on the reason that caused the render to stop. To clear completed renders from the panel, you can press the refresh button. Only active renders will remain in the panel. To clear all jobs from the panel, completed and active, you can press the clean button. Although you will not be able to see or control active renders, they will still continue to run in the background. You can learn more on the RenderBrain options, local, network, split, multiframe, and jobs in the following lessons. See you there.